of the last 72 hours. Let me salute the dogged resolve of the people of Indian State. I must particularly single out the patriotic men and women who inside rain and skill pelting sunshine chose to occupy the INEC office in the last 72 hours. Their resolute resolve pointed at one single force that they are in a hurry for Enugu to connect with all the lofty goals that our administration is bringing to bear in our dear state. Let me restate that our, there can never be a division between Soka and the Kanu or any other section of our state. We're all brothers and sisters. Those who attempted to create a wedge between us failed woefully. We were massively voted by every section of the state. Those who wanted to smack our heads together had an ulterior motive, and it was to create perpetual fusing and fighting between us. We resisted them, and today we are coming together stronger. Our resolve thereafter is to pursue the spirit of divisiveness from our state. Since the electioneering process began, though the road was rough, it was obvious that we were not alone on the rough road. At every intersection of the rough road, the Enugu were with us. Collectively, we crunched along with bravery and strength of character. Your presence shielded us from the rough tackles that were aimed at our spine. It is why you, Nge Mugu, are the hero of this victory. You sold your sweat and prolonged discomfort that earned us this victory. In the hot and torrid sun, you were with us. When the rain, literally and metaphorically, drenched us, you stood by us offering your clothes to damp our wet apparel. And when it was time to stand and be counted with your votes, Ndenugu, you did not let us down. The choice you made is clear. You did not go through all those grueling moments for the sake of the fleeting berries of today. You made a huge investment for your tomorrow, for the tomorrow of your children, and children's children. You chose to deprive yourselves of the perishable and glittering rewards of now so that greater tomorrow can come. In choosing us, you did not allow mundane reasons to stop you. You abandoned political party divides, religious denominations, privileges, clan and tribe. All you demanded was a candidate who could guarantee tomorrow for you and generation of Enugu to come. Now, in the Enugu, that tomorrow is here. Let me pledge to you once again that I will serve you and dedicate every of the 1,460 days that make up this initial tenure of office to serving you. I will remember the coarse road you prevailed to get us here. In reply, we will speak resoundingly with policies of government that will give you comfort and rest of mind. As I told you during my campaign, the administration we will run will bring joy to your heart. We will make you remember March 18, 2023 with a toothy smile. Health, tourism, education, and development of our state in general. We will run a government that you can be proud of. We are in a hurry to dualize the Ababa, Ubogo Nike, and Soka Road. Build a monorail from Enugu to Soka, Udi, and all. And construct a ring road to connect all the 17 local government areas of Enugu State. We're in a hurry to build a world-class theme park in Enugu. 
were in a hurry to establish special economic zones in all the senatorial area and were also in a hurry to establish special agro allied processing zone and industrial park in all our senatorial zones. We are in a hurry to unleash the tech talents in our young people and grow and nurture their interest in business and vocations skills. We shall build a school of science, technology, engineering, and maths, an innovation education center, as well as a skill enhancement center in each of the three senatorial zones. Mm -hmm. Ours shall not be an administration by a section of the state, I repeat. We shall run an all-inclusive government designed to provide an inclusive economic development for our dear state. As we bring water to all homes in Enugu Metropolis in 180 days of our being sworn in, we shall bring water in the shortest possible time to the Soka, Uji River, Udi, Ogo, and others too. We shall frontally confront the infrastructural deficit in all parts of the state, and no one will be left behind. Let me at this juncture call on everyone to join me in this task of chasing a great tomorrow from the rock of a despondent today. In the elections that we ran, we're all winners. No one is a victor, nor is anyone vanquished. The task at hand transcends emotions, politics, and other mundane divides. It is why I extend my hands of fellowship to all my colleagues with whom I ran the gubernatorial election. Our dear state is greater than all of us. Let us come together and give our people a tomorrow that defeats their hard work, industry, and our ancestry of greatness. Once again, Indian Mugu, I thank you for reposing your trust in me. Together, tomorrow is here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.